About a year ago, uh, the Duffers, who are the creators of Stranger Things, and Sean Levy, one of the producers, contacted Ivan at Ghost Core, and uh, they were interested in incorporating Ghostbusters in the show. They brought the opportunity to us, and so we were sitting there, we are thinking, like, what makes sense in this world? How do we really play into this? And we look back, and in 84, Reebok was crushing it with the Exo fit. The sneaker happened to be released in 1983, 1984, which fit in perfectly with the Stranger Things timeline. Dustin happens to be a huge Ghostbusters fan, so it just made perfect sense to put a great licensing program together with Netflix. It's got nostalgia because it's it's an old Reebok model, right in keeping with what they had in the 80s. Reebok was on board. Um, Stranger Things was just a phenomenon. So then became the creative process where we're working with Sony and Netflix to figure out how the shoe ties in to everything and how to rebrand it and make it part of the show. Someone came up with the idea of Dustin. He's a big Ghostbusters fan, so he draws Slimer and his interpretation on the shoe. Stranger Things is huge on nostalgia, and so this is like a perfect show that parents that loved Ghostbusters when they were growing up uh, now can watch with their kids and sort of pass on to the next generation, and that's what's really cool. There are a lot of kids out here with their parents dressed in Ghostbusters gear, so it's neat to see them share that experience with their own kids. You know, it's a trip down memory lane, and the show uh, Stranger Things, the kids are Ghostbusters fans, and 84 is the year the movie comes out. It's the number one movie in their town. This shoe was probably a year in the making. You know, got the concept going, went to sampling, you know, and then you got to get it approved by all the parties involved, and after that, send it for production, and, and you see the end product, and we're super proud of it.